What is up? Tom Clark here for OGO, the One Guy's Opinion. This is actually episode number two, so thank you for tuning in. Welcome back. It's been about uh, two weeks since our debut episode, and we're working on a grand total of like 17 views and counting. We're building our fan base, man, starting like right here, and within the span, like, like at this rate, if we keep going strong, within like 30 to 40 years, we're going to be really something to contend with, so... Uh, again, you're in on the ground floor, so um, thank you very much for your attention. Very cool. Let's get right down to it. As you know, the OGO is all about professional wrestling, most uh, uh, specifically WWE, and uh, let's go ahead and hit this, and uh, let's do what we do. Headlines of the day, breaking news as it were, the Viper, Randy Orton, suspended for 60 days for his second uh, violation of WWE's wellness policy. This directly affects me in a very important way, all right, because I'm headed to Monday Night Raw this coming Monday in Greenville, South Carolina, uh, and now I get to miss out on one of the best workers that WWE has in the locker room. So that sucks for me, uh, and, and really that's what we're talking about. We're talking about professional wrestlers who are suspended, uh, uh, notably for WWE. Uh, when you're talking about NFL, when you're talking about Major League Baseball, you're talking about NBA, when these guys get in trouble and they screw up, it, 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 it impacts the team. It impacts that team. And of course, the bigger the star the player is, the more impact it has on that team in terms of what are they going to do now? How are they going to win? You see what I'm saying? What's going to happen at this point? Uh, we don't have that in our business. Okay, What we have is their ability to entertain. Uh, it, it, you know, it, An entire city is not sitting there hinging on one star player. You don't have a LeBron James or a uh, or a Kobe Bryant to rally behind. I mean, it's, and, and you know, all of your hopes and dreams are with that one guy to bring you a championship. Not the case, of course, with pro wrestling. So when a guy screws up, does something stupid to get himself suspended, then you're more or less talking about, well, he's really just kind of screwed the fans. And that's really what it comes down to. Now, we don't know what he did. Uh, it is It is Monday. Actually, excuse me, it is Wednesday right now. So uh, no word yet on what specifically he did. Uh, there's rumors floating around, but we're not going to get into that. We'll see what happens. Uh, so it could be anything. So let's don't start throwing stones just yet. I mean, who knows what the deal is. Uh, but it's a shame. Again, the fans are the ones who are losing out here. Um, and, and let's be honest here. That's his second wellness policy violation. It's technically speaking, one more. Three strikes, you're out, and you're done. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It'll be very interesting. Another suspension we're talking about, uh, Chris Jericho. Uh, the, the incident last week in Brazil with the Brazilian flag, I'm sure everyone knows about this by now. It's laughable, it's ridiculous. Uh, Hill's job is to get heat. Bottom line, that's what he's there for. If he can't draw heat, then he's no good to anyone. Okay, And that's all that Jericho was doing. Um, I don't think there's any question about any of that. Um, I think it's a shame what's happened. He's already playing it up on Twitter as if he's really gone. Uh, Chris knows his role. He knows what he's doing, and he's a heel. So, of course, he's going to say and do whatever he has to say and do to keep the thing going. Uh, the, the question is, when he does come back, how much time has he got left? There's you know rumors going around about Fozzie going back on tour this fall, uh, and it specifically you know coincides with pay-per-view time for WWE again. So... I don't know, man. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But, uh, again, it's another another very good worker, another name that is gone. That's two, all right? Uh, so, we'll, again, we'll just have to see what happens. But uh, uh, I enjoy Jericho's work. Not a real big fan of his latest run. You know, uh, I'm not sure uh, uh, really where it's going because he hasn't really won anything yet. So... Uh, we'll have to wait and see, and uh, see how this whole thing plays out. But again, Jericho gone. Uh, yeah, kind of a big deal. Uh, another headline making the news right now, Brock Lesnar attended UFC number 146 this past weekend and uh, supposedly had a meeting with Dana White, which apparently did not go too well. Here's the thing, man. Uh, uh, Dana White is no Vince McMahon, okay? But Dana White has been very successful with UFC, and my hat's off to him. Okay, he may not be the monster showman that Vince is. Okay, can't really compare the two organizations when it comes to that. But um, Dana knows the deal. I, I would be very surprised if there had not been a phone call at some point.
from Vince's people to Dana's people. I don't know if it went as far up the food chain as Vince calls Dana or whatever that stuff is, but I uh, would not be surprised if a phone call was made at some point to tell Dana, look, man, if you're cool with it, Brock's going to come to UFC this weekend. We want to kind of stoke the fire and get some things happening. And honestly, I don't know why Dana would have a problem with that. Um, some wrestling fans see UFC as a legitimate threat. I don't. Just me personal, man, because... Uh, uh, you know, it's two entirely different products. But at the end of the day, it's two entirely different products. You, you cannot compare the two in terms of uh, maybe the demographic, I guess you could say. But it's just two different presentations and for two different products. Um, I believe they could actually help each other if they really wanted to. And I think this is another example of maybe that that kind of thing is going on. We'll have to wait and see. Who knows? Uh, Lord Tenzai is no longer Lord Tenzai. Uh, he is just Tenzai now. And supposedly, that be... Uh, the uh, upper management is not very happy with him. Um, I don't know what uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, finally got the axe to fall on him. Um, maybe it's the fact that since he debuted, he's had zero reaction. Okay, uh, the fact that uh, you know uh, Ricardo Rodriguez gets more reaction, gets more of a pop than Tenzai, who's you know taking everybody's head off basically. Um, I, I like Albert. Okay, it's nothing, uh, nothing against him. I've heard comments about his weight and all that nonsense. Man, he's a pro wrestler. You know what I'm saying? Not every guy is supposed to look like Batista. It's supposed to be a mix of different body types and whatnot. Albert's got the track record there. He's been there before. He knows what he's doing. If you haven't had a chance to check out any of his stuff from Japan, I encourage you to do so. He's been in Japan for a while, man. So. I personally didn't have a whole heck of a lot of problems with the Tenzai thing, but it, let's face it, it wasn't over. It wasn't over like it should have been, uh, and apparently WWE saw that, and so again, they've pulled him. We'll have to wait and see what happens to that. Um, CM Punk, WWE 13 cover, very cool stuff. I love the cover of this thing. Uh, uh, again, I'm biased because I, you know, I'm a fan of Punk's, but uh, what are you going to do? you got to mark out for somebody, right? But uh, good on him, and a very cool move, uh, and I don't care what anyone says. Uh, if, if John Cena broke both legs today, um, I believe personally that Punk could carry the company. Now, I don't know if they could, you know, maybe keep the same heights that Cena has helped, you know, sort of uh, maintain them at. But let's be honest, man, you know, WWE's not always hitting the moon in terms of ratings and fan support and all that. I mean, it's, you know, sometimes it's sort of up and down. Um, I don't know if they have anyone that can deliver like that. Um, but I think Punk would be the closest thing they would have, and I think that he would uh, give his full effort at making that happen. Um, and again, very cool game. It sucks for me because I just got WB12 like three or four months ago. Haven't even scratched the surface of that thing yet, man. So I uh, don't know when uh, when yours truly is going to be picking up WB13. Uh, you know, don't know. Get it eventually, I guess. Last but not least this week, big show, Monster Heel Turn. Uh, is it working for you? Because it doesn't seem to be working for anyone else. Uh, <laughs> criticism leveled this guy left and right. A lot of fans saying they can't take him seriously because Cody Rhodes pinned him like two weeks ago. Here's the thing. Show's an old pro. He's been doing this for a very long time. And if you're going to level criticism at him because of the fact that he's not won every match since his heel turn happened, Mark Henry wasn't either. Okay, And when Mark turned heel and went on the tear that he went on, it led him to the World Championship. So I'm not sure why we're all sort of taking a big crap on Big Show. Um, you know, he's doing the best of what he has. Supposedly, Tenzai was supposed to be the guy that was going to face Cena, and they scrapped that at the last minute and replaced him with Show. I don't know. I mean, this past Monday, he was getting some boring chants from the crowd. But you know what? They would they, they chanted boring. Them. I mean, they were heckling Taker during Taker's promos with Hunter for WrestleMania uh, 28. So... Uh, who knows? But again, I like Show, and I, th I think if Big Show's going to be in your locker room, two things, either one of two things, is going to have to happen. He's got to be the big, lovable guy, like they were portraying him to be the past couple of years or so, or he's got to be a monster who's running through everybody. I don't think you've got any anything in, in between. Anything in between is a death sentence for this guy. He's huge. Again, talent, uh, track record, uh, uh, very good for a big guy. Probably one of the big guys, maybe in the top ten. Best big man of all time. That's a big deal, man. That's a big deal. How are you not going to use him? Uh, as the company's top heel? Jerry's uh, uh, still out on that one. I don't know. I have to wait and see. Uh, 
I'm curious to see what's going to happen Monday. Again, I'll be there live in attendance. Uh, so we'll see. That's it for another episode of OGO. Remember to check me out on bleachreport.com, the WB page, under the name Tom Clark. That's me looking at him. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, much thanks to you. And remember, if you don't like anything you heard during this show, it's all good, man. After all, it is just one guy's opinion. I'm out. <laughs>